Jesus me, me no love man. Chuh. Me Jesus me, no me no love man. Stop My it. girl come and diss me. Me Jesus, me Jesus. So basically, this story time is about when I first met Fetty Wap. You remember by you my trap queen and you my trap queen. I remember. I don't remember most of it. So I literally just got in the country of America in 2017. That's when my mother just bought my ticket and everything, punched the hairline and brought me over here, the land of greatness, land of opportunity, bro. Me Jesus. After I come America, after I was in America, now I was like getting from job to job until I finally landed the um this event group job so basically this job was like and like you went to like different events and stuff stage shows concerts all that stuff where like great big American artists performs and stuff like that and you get to like sell tickets or issue tickets to people you get to check IDs one of my particular main job was to make sure I was doing crowd control bro like look at me me Jesus, I'm 5'5", five five. who the hell gonna make me do crowd control? But anyways bruv, where I was working, us as the workers, we had like access backstage, so we get to see a lot of different artists. I think, uh, I probably, I don't think I saw Flo Rida, but I think Flo Rida was there, and a couple of other artists, Imagine Dragons. You know, for me bruv, as a Jamaican, that, that shit gonna be up it, tell the truth, like, as a Jamaican bruv in America, like, stuff like that gonna just be great, like, gonna be like, yo bruv. You used to see these people on TV and now you're actually working alongside them, bruv. That night, I think it, maybe it was Friday, it was the last night of the, the, the event for me to work there. I remember when I was there for the whole night, Fetu up and his whole entourage was there. But I didn't saw them at first. What I did, <laughs> I was like kind of inquisitive. I was trying to like really, me enough. Basically, Jamaicans said enough, me did enough. So I went around the stage and I went backstage and I saw when I Fetu up. Homie, I think him be Fetty is like a big fat dude. I think he's Fetty up hype man. How is be like, yo, it's Fetty, me Jesus, Fetty out here and blah blah blah. I'm go out there one time and I'm go around the, the bathroom, went in the bathroom, I took up, I did a piss, I was taking a piss, and then the beard is dude that hit on the door. I look, I pull the door, it was Fetty up, uh, uh, one of the dudes from the Antara, the big fat dude. Right, and, and I was like, yeah, man, me done. He was like, you good? Good people, bro. He's a good dude. That's how I know I, I had a chance. Once they had said something to me, I'm like, yo, bro, this is my opportunity. I made the day go out, go on, go on until they reach into the night time now. As I said before, Fetty Wap and his entourage I went on the stage, bro. They kill it. They sing Trap Queen. They sing, um, 1738. Yeah, you know what I mean? All of them uppity songs, bro, from the past. And, um, it was like, you know what I mean? They killed the stage, bro. They, it was so uppity. It was an uppity performance and whatnot. And um, I was, I was like, I was like, I was there, and I'm like, yo, bro, I don't know. I have to get a picture with Fetu up. Like, me have to get, like, I have to get some type of picture with Fetu up because I ain't gonna lie. Being, being in Jamaica and seeing a mega star like that in person, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'm really kind of starstruck. I'm be like, yo, bro, I see him all the time on YouTube. It'd be great to actually. You know what I mean? See, uh, get a picture from him because I'm, you know, I'm very uppity and a lot of Jamaicans, especially me, love artists like that back then. I was wrapping up, wrapping up, I, I watch him perform and I'm like, yo, I need to find a way how to get to Fetty Up. Now I'm starting thinking, I'm, I'm figuring out ways, like positive, specific ways, like what can I do to actually get this picture with Fetty Up? How can I meet Fetty Up? Right, bro? So I'm there, I think I'm going to say, yo, I, I'm like, I'm like, bro, all right. If I go backstage, they're going to have security, but I'm free to go around there, so security won't really bother me because I'm working for the event group. So, you know what I did? I just went around, went around the backstage, right? <laughs> this is so funny. Went around the backstage and then I saw this big black SUV. I think that's the, 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 the SUV that brought in Fetu up and most of his crew. So I went around there, brother, and I saw like this, there was a Big, a ton load of people. I saw a lot of different artists coming off the stage. I was not really interested in them. I really wanted to meet Fetu up. So I went around the the SUV, right? But it was so tinted, bro. It was so freaking dark, right? With like 100% glass tinted. And I saw like the driver. And I, I looked at the driver. I looked at the driver through in front of the, the SUV. I looked right at the driver. I was like, I was like, this was me. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, I was trying to like get his attention. And then he saw me and he was looking at me and then I went around. 
I went around to the driver's um, side and I knocked the window. I think Fetuwap was in the back of the, the SUV with two freaking bitches, bro. Like, me Jesus, them bitches was uppity, right? Them did. The girl, them did hot. Go around the driver's seat and I, and I knocked the window. And the driver, like, pulled it down. And, but he noticed, ain't gonna lie, he didn't, he didn't hate on me or nothing. He never, like, really feel like, yo, bro, move or nothing like that. It was like it was in army. It was respectful because I noticed I was working there too, and there's that's the only reason why I was there. Anyways, I was working there so I can go back there. He went the window down. He brought the window down, and I'm like, "Yo, bro, is, is, is it okay for me to like get a quick picture of Fetu up?" Um, you know, I mean, I'm a big fan of him from Jamaica. You know, what I mean, I'm not going like I'm not necessarily was a big fan, but I know Fetu up and I know the music, Trap Queen. So you know we. We, I like the song, you know what I mean? But I just really want to get a picture of photo. I ain't gonna lie. But over since that time, I learned. But anyways, the driver will come and be like, yo, you have to ask him. And be like, I, it, it was like, I ain't got a problem, bro, but you have to ask him. The man say, yo, I have to ask Fetty Wap. And Fetty Wap is in the back of the freaking van with two uppity girls, dog. The girls, them back of them, them, them hot. The girl, them, the bitch, them uppity, right? So, when we look around, I think he had like a bandana around his head. And I see this, what I see this person like it was like this. I know he has like one eye. He has like one eye shut down and one like open. And was like the two bitches like. You know and I mean I think he didn't have any shirt on. So I went around the I went around the SUV because the freaking SUV was so freaking big. So I went right around the SUV, bro. And then I knock on the window. Right? Anyways, bro, as I said before, I was working there, so I was cool. So the, his entourage never was gonna like trying to like rule or trying to like you know what I mean, tell me to get out and stuff, you know what I mean, so I went around and I knocked the window and then fed to up his cell, bro, like fed to up in the flesh, wind the window down, right, and then he did this, we did this together, I don't know, the Americans do it, I learned how to do it after I did it with him, like, yo, what's up, you know what I mean, I was like, yo, fed to, what's up, bro, and fed to up was like, hey, what's up, you good, and I'm like, yeah, man, I'm good, man, I'm from Jamaica, I'm a big fan of you from Jamaica. I really like your music and stuff. And we in Jamaica love your song. And be like, yo, your island man. That's what he said. He was like, oh, yo, you're from the island. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm from Jamaica. And, and when he when he said that, I'm like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I hesitated for a while. After I was talking, I was like chilling and I, I kind of got frozen because I wanted to ask him for the picture, but I didn't want it to make it feel as if like I'm trying to like take him away from what he was doing with the girls and shit. So I was like chilling and then. After a while, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm like, while, while I was like, I was standing there, bro, like, I was frozen while the man had the window down. He probably, probably, he probably would have probably slapped me and be like, bro, tell me what you have to tell me. Eventually, I looked at him and I'm like, yo, Fetty, do you mind if, you know what I mean, when you're finished, we can get, like, a quick picture and stuff, so I can put it on my, my social media. And, bro, I ain't gonna lie, that is one, is one of the most humble and coolest person in terms of celebrity that I like really met in real life. You know people be like see you on TV and think you're like you're this and you're that. He's not like that bro, you know what I mean? And then he said yeah, he said yeah sure. But when I'm done, he didn't have any shirt on. So he said let me put my shirt on and stuff. You know what I mean? So the dude, you know, after I, after I said that he wind back the black, black ass tinted window right up back. And then I ain't gonna lie bro. This shit is so funny. That's the thing with celebrity. That's why I started to, I learned a lot from meeting Fetua because I started to like see myself more of like a very uppity and confident person too. The dude wind up the window, right? And the man say, yo, give him like five minutes. Bro, you know how long, like you guys, you know, bro, I literally waited like almost a hour for the man to come out that SUV. I don't know what the hell the man was doing in that SUV that long, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, I was so determined to get the picture with him. So I stood by the SUV for literally maybe 55 to like a, 55 minutes to like a hour, bro. While his entourage was going around the place checking out and shit like that, dog. Cause I was very determined to get it. Until finally, I saw I put on a white shirt. As you can see in the picture, I put on his white shirt. And then he came around. And then the man come out the, the man come out the SUV, bro. I walk right past me. I know I'm short. He's very tall. I know I'm short. So I'm like, I was like, yo, well, you know, probably, probably just not see me. He probably didn't see me because I'm short and shit. So he, he come out and then he walk right around the SUV and then go link up his entourage and my shit, bro. Like he went over by his entourage and I'm like, yo. He was talking with them. And I was there, bro. And my heart was like beating. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, should I go ask him if we go take the picture? Should I go, like, you know what I mean? And then I saw the big dude. Remember the big dude I told him that we was cool earlier and I said to him, I'm like, yo, bro, you think I could I get a picture with Fetu up? I didn't went to Fetu up, I didn't ask him if I could I get a picture with Fetu up. And he'd be like, yo, ask him. 
and I and then I ain't gonna lie. I was nervous for like two minutes, bro. I was like, yo, shit. But I just remember that I just talked to Fetu up. He just dabbed me up and everything. Like, what the man? Stop being so scared. Right? This is Tabitha Prime. But that's when I just got here, bro. I didn't have like so much confidence that I had now. Then I went up to Fetu up. I'm like, I'm like yo, Fetu, um, you still wanted to take the picture and, and thing? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, come on, man. And then Fetu up, like came over and he was by the SUV and whatnot. And then he, the dude put his hand, he put his arms around me. I remember when he put his hands around my, my, my shoulder and shit. And then I did like this, right? I, re I really, I ain't gonna lie, I really wanted to look like a gangster. I really wanted to be like, but you know what I mean? But the moment felt so good, bro. I'm like, yo, sh cut this gangster shit out, this bad man Jamaican mentality and skin your freaking white teeth. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet a great uppity artist, right? So I was like, that's exactly what I took the picture, bro. And Fetty Wap has his, his arms around me and shit, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, it was a great, it was a great uppity feeling meeting Fetty Wap, bro, in the living flesh, dog. That shit was, it was a great feeling because, you know, you see them on, like, in Jamaica, you see them on the TV, on YouTube, big mega stars, bro. And to come to America for the first time ever, your first job, and meet him, bro, and meet him just like that, dog, backstage. It was a great uppity feeling to meet Petro. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I mean? And then we took, after we took the picture, you know what I mean? We dab up again, I'm just like, yo, bless up, bro, keep doing your thing. I ain't gonna lie. After a while, I thought about it, I'm like, yo, why I didn't ask, ask him for like a little, you know what I mean? Like, probably if we, go, if we can link up or whatever, I'm like, shit, shut up, shut him out of his Like, you get a little picture. Don't, don't try to, you know what I mean? Don't try to fill your cup too much over. You know what I mean? So, sorry, bro. I'm... I'm really not in the like the video mood right now as I said bro I just really, really want to do the story time and say told you guys how I did it so excuse me if I'm not I'm not trying to be funny bro I'm just being myself all right okay to go easy but yeah we took the picture we dab up again and yeah I made fetch you up it was an uppity experience dog I ain't gonna lie I never forget about it you know what I mean and then I go out and I met a couple of the Jamaican celebrities as well until I myself became a little, you know what I mean, celebrity of myself. And that's just for confidence sake, bro, you know what I mean, it's not egoistic or whatnot. But I don't need to explain it to nobody, bro, but that's the way, and that's how I met Fetty Wap, Trap Queen, uh, 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 me Jesus. Thank you guys for watching, bro, and you guys want more videos, bro, bro, you know what I mean, yo, thank you guys for watching, man, thank you, well up, Fetty.